Hello, it's your friendly teen librarian, Caroline, here with some book recommendations just in time for the Teen Book Festival. Celebrate Durham County's 6th Annual Teen Book Fest on Zoom on March 10th from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. Join young adult authors Steve Scheinkin, Tracy Dion, Marco Shiro, and Daniel Jose Older for author talks and writing workshops. You might recognize some of the books that I'm going to talk about. All of the books here are available through the library in print or in ebook formats, so check out some of these titles. Steve Scheinkin started out as an author of textbooks, but now he writes nonfiction for young adults. If you're on a Battle of the Books team, you might recognize some of his books. While Steve has written many books for teens, my favorite book of his is Bomb, The Race to Build and Steal, The World's Most Dangerous Weapon. This nonfiction book about the atom bomb reads like a spy or thriller novel with real life twists and turns. If you want to learn about a part of history that still impacts your life today, or you need an illuminating page turner, then check out Bomb by Steve Schenken. Tracy Dion is a local author and her first book, Legendborn, was on the New York Times bestseller list. When she's not writing, she reads fan fiction or goes to sci-fi conventions. If you're a fan of world building and old mythologies, then check out Legendborn. Tracy Dion combines Arthurian legend with magical traditions of Southern African American culture. After the death of her mother, whiz kid Bree enrolls in a program for high school students at the local university. But when she witnesses a magical attack, she unlocks memories surrounding her mother's death, as well as her own magical powers. If you're a fan of Cassandra Clare's City of Bones or Maggie Stiefvater's The Raven Boys, then Legendborn is the perfect read-alike. Marco Shiro is an award-winning YA author and a champion for diversity in YA literature. When they are not writing, they are on a mission to pet every dog in the world. Full of diversity and thought-provoking themes, Anger is a Gift is Marco Shiro's first YA novel. This book is an emotional roller coaster that stays with you long after you've finished reading it. High school student Moss is a survivor in Oakland, California. He witnesses his own father's death and experiences hardships at the hands of a racist school administration. A group of his friends decide to organize a protest that escalates into violence. If you're a fan of The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, then check out this book on civil disobedience and heartfelt struggle. Daniel Jose Older first began his writing career while he was still an EMT in New York City. Since then, he has become a best-selling YA fantasy author and now writes Star Wars fiction like The Last Shot. But I'm going to talk about Daniel's first fantasy series, Shadow Shaper Cipher. The series begins with Shadow Shaper, when the murals painted on the walls of Sierra's Brooklyn neighborhood start to fade, she realizes something strange is going on. She then discovers her Puerto Rican family are shadow shapers, people with the ability to animate art with the spirits of their ancestors. However, there is an evil anthropologist trying to steal their power for himself. If you like diverse fantasy books or books with strong female characters, then check out Shadow Shaper. Please come to the Teen Book Festival on March 10th from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. on Zoom. You can register for the event on our website, www.durhamcountylibrary.org. This event is for teens, tweens, and readers of YA literature.